Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Lee. If it's your first time here, thank you for joining me in my little corner of the internet. Today, it's my birthday. I'm 23 years old. February 22nd, 1996 is my birthday. And today I just wanted to walk through with you uh, just what I have in plan for what I'm gonna do with my makeup tonight. I was really inspired by a makeup artist named Nikki Makeup on Instagram. Um, I saw this tangerine look that she did on her model and it was really simple but pretty impactful and that's kind of what I wanted to do today especially because I have the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette and I've purchased it after I went on like a Natasha Denona kick like months ago and I haven't even used it yet and I figured this is the perfect time and the perfect opportunity to crack open this palette and use it for my birthday so Without further ado, let's just get started, and yeah. Uh, just starting with my base, I'm just going to prime my face with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. This is the moisturizing one. Um, the reason I'm going in with this is just because um, I'm going to be wearing this makeup all day up until dinner time for my birthday because um, I'm going to be out and about and I won't have time to do my makeup later on so I figured I might as well just do it now and hopefully try to keep it very long lasting and um, uh, this primer is one of the only ones that I believe helps my makeup stay on because it's like a soft matte kind of, uh, of a, what's this called? Primer? Yeah. And then I'm just going to go over the perimeters of my face with the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade Medium 4. This one I'm just adding for glow because I'm using a matte foundation today and um, it's very matte. So I need uh, to add the glow myself in order to achieve like the glowy look I usually want from my looks. is better applied just on where you would like to normally highlight just because it, it can make you look kind of oily and it makes your makeup not last as long if you put it everywhere so I don't want to take away the properties of that Fenty primer by just applying something that'll just make my makeup slip the whole entire time oh gosh Now that that's on, I'm just going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in this shade 240. This is too warm for me and um, I am awful at color matching so that's why I have this color but I'm just going to lighten it up in the center with my cushion foundation that I always use to lighten. Uh, the combination of the two it makes my skin look really nice too. one pump of this <laughs> it's really weird being like 23 years old now I, re I really feel like <laughs> I was I just turned 21 like two days ago and now that I'm turning 23 I'm kind of sad about it. But I'm trying not to be super depressed about it. I get usually like depressed around my birthday. Am I the only one? Um yeah and today I'm gonna have go to dinner with some of my friends and my boyfriend. It should be a good time. Um, and then I'm just going to go over that with the IOPay foundation in the shade 
23 this is a cushion foundation looks like that and i'm just applying this to make my base a little bit glowier sorry my phone keeps going off um yeah so i'm just gonna apply that over my fenty base just because um i want to add a little bit more glow to my look but the fenty will help adhere to my skin for a longer time Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. Um, I swore this product off recently and then I, I just like randomly picked it up because I hadn't used it in a while and I've actually kind of grown to like this. Um, you just have to wait a bit for it to work but i feel like it makes your eye shadow really stay on for a really long time because or maybe it's just in my head i don't know but i have been using it more and i haven't been hating it as much as i did before so now that that's down i'm just gonna start uh contouring and bronzing just because i want to wait for that to dry down all the way before i do my eyeshadow i'm gonna go in with the hollywood contour wand from charlotte tilbury this is in the shade fair medium um i don't really know if i like this to be honest i i think the packaging really bothers me and like i don't think the contour shade is so revolutionary that i feel like my life has changed enough for me to justify this price of this packaging like, it's nice, it's just not... I don't feel like as nice as everyone makes it seem. I hate like whenever I say something like that, like when I say it's not that great, like the one time I used it on camera, it's like better than the other days I've used it. Like what's that about? Because now I feel like it looks really pretty. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the NARS Laguna Liquid Bronzer. I know my nose contour looks a little crazy right now. I'm just going to clean it up afterwards, so don't worry too much about it. Just shaking it up and then squirting some on the back of my hand. Well, I might have squirted a little bit too much, but I'll just go in with that around the perimeters of my face. Now I'm going to go in with the Natasha Denona blush and bloom blush bloom and blush glow palette i'm just gonna apply a little bit of that blush uh, mostly just because it's in front of me So I'm just going to finish up the eyes. I'm going to go into the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette here. I'm just going to zoom you in. And I'm just going to use this tangerine shade right here. And that's all I'm going to use from the palette. You, of course, don't have to use this palette or purchase this palette just for the orange tangerine shade, but... I happen to have it and I haven't used it and I want to give it a go, so that's what I'm going to use. Yeah. 
think I'm just gonna go in with that orange shimmery shade at the bottom. Just because I feel like I wanna add something a little different. Go in with the Kat Von D tattoo liner in the shade Trooper. Uh, I just like using this to outline my eye uh, eyeliner because it c gets it really thin. And then I'm gonna go over it with a Tom Ford eyeliner. Now that the eye outline is on, it's so quick and easy with the eyeliner. I'm just going to go over with the Tom Ford liner because I have a hard time using this eyeliner. But it is very black and it's... I just finished the eyeliner that took me 30 years. I'm just going to put my eyebrows on with the Glossier Boy Brow. Now I'm just going to go in with some highlighter, just going to zoom out really quick, um, go into the Natasha Denona Bloom palette and go into the Glow Extreme powder right here in the corner right there, and just highlight my face. parts with my Ardell stripper bra and just fill in the parts where I just feel like I need a little bit more coloring. Just really quickly. Okay, and now um, put some mascara on. I'm going to go in with a waterproof mascara because I want it to stay on all night. I'll go in with the Essence Mascara, if I can find it. Yep. Go in with the Essence Mascara right here. Okay, now that that's on, um, I'm just going to finish the look with this YSL uh, Volupte Li Liquid Color Bomb in the number 5. And this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this look. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!